there's so many insects that are tiny and we miss that. The ones we have identified are all the big ones that you can easily see and easily collect. Well, let's face it, right now we have approximately a million described species and estimates from the rainforest, you know, where they do fogging of trees and then they collect all the insects that land on sheets below, so many of them have never been seen before that estimates are up to 30 million insect species are on this planet. We've identified one million of that 30. 29 million more to go. There's only two major habitats that you cannot find insects on this planet, and that's the polar ice caps and the open ocean. Every habitat you can think of, from lava tubes and, and thermal springs, deserts, you name the major habitats, there's a plethora of, of insects, or pleth plethora, depending on how you like to pronounce that. It's amazing, amazing how they are just integrated to every single habitat on this planet. That's why they're so important. If you lose insects, you lose a building block, a foundation of that local community ecosystem, and things start disappearing quickly. This one acre plot of cotton in Northeast Mexico is all that raise of one and a half million acres of cotton that grew here 10 years ago. The disaster here in Mexico has stood for 10 years as a warning to U.S. agriculture that its overuse of insecticide is also in danger of creating an insect backlash. The warning has been largely ignored. The chemical bombardment continues. When insects start disappearing, you lose pollination, number one. The other is decomposition. You can imagine if we didn't have that help with decomposition, now we'd have more disease. And of course, insects are also predators on other insects. So if you've got a pest species, predator insects keep them in check. So you can see how it's all integrated so tightly that if you lose key species or worse habitats, you're going to have a bad state down the road. So not only are they everywhere, they're vital. So Marv makes a really compelling case for why insects are so important and vital to our everyday life. So today we're at the Canadian Museum of Nature, joined by expert entomologist Dave Chung, where we will be talking a little bit more in detail about what makes an insect an insect. Well, an uh, insect is an arthropod, so an animal with an exoskeleton and jointed legs. But what makes an insect an insect and different from other arthropods are the fact that they have three main body segments, the head, thorax, and abdomen. And a lot of people don't know, but most insects have wings. A true insect has six legs, three body segments. So let's talk a little bit more about what makes an insect an insect. Why is the life cycle or the stages that an insect lives through so interesting and specific to insects alone? Well, insects have three major kinds of life cycles or types of metamorphosis. So metamorphosis means, you know, to change. And the first group is the ametabolous insects, meaning uh, there's no metamorphosis. The juvenile insects look exactly like the adults and they simply grow bigger and bigger as they molt. What would be an example of that? Like a silverfish. Then we're going to move on to the hemimetabolous insects. Think of a, a grasshopper. Think about what a baby grasshopper looks like. It looks like the adult grasshopper, but it doesn't have one feature. What do you think that is? I don't know. Wings! Exactly! Oh, this is so this is a good way to tell the age of an insect. I've actually had that question myself. Oh. I had some praying mantises in my backyard. Those of you who follow me will know this already. So I thought I had them not only secured in my greenhouse. Oh my god, they're fing everywhere. Oh, there's hundreds. They were supposed to stay in here. F Everyone who is asking questions on why the f do I have <laughs> not one, but two <laughs> praying mantis egg sacs. They're cool. Hello. Hello. Both of them were huge but one had wings and the other one didn't. So that was kind of, and I sent that picture to you. And basically we determined that one was a little bit older than the other right. one. So the definition of wings can help you to determine the age yes. sort of of an insect. Exactly. Okay, so cool. So how many metabolic insects get their wings at the very last molt? And then they're sexually mature. 
well, you have your wings and you're cycling mature, what's the next step? It's like you... You're going to fly around and find someone to mate with. Exactly. Oh, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then that brings us to the last type of uh, metamorphosis, the complete metamorphosis or called metabolous insects, which happens to make up about 80% of all insects. And these are the ones that change. So they have a larva stage, mm -hmm. which looks very different than the adult stage. Like so, a caterpillar exactly. to a butterfly. Exactly. So different, right? Absolutely. Uh, Crazy. Uh, it crazy is, it different. still blows my mind. Yeah. It is incredible. Right. The caterpillar stage is really the stage where they're just feeding. They're designed to process food and store a ton of energy. And then it gets bigger and bigger with each molt. And then finally, when you have a mature larva, uh, it molts and um, becomes a pupal stage. So this stage, traditionally, they don't move as much. They're more dormant. But what's happening inside is the <laughs> insect is actually melting down and reassembling its body to the adult stage. And the adult stage usually has wings. It's very unworldly, isn't it? Right. Like little aliens. Yeah. To, to, to just conceptualize something like that is, is cr it's, it's mind blowing. Crazy. Imagine us melting down to a puddle. In a little tiny cup. Not only do they, they look different, they usually eat a different type of food and they live in a completely different habitat. Scientists think that this is the reason why insects are so successful is because the adults and the young are not competing for the same niche, for the same food, or for the same habitat. And probably contributes a lot to the diversification exactly. of insects as well. Exactly. You got it. Wow.